Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another edition of Dog Fooding with David McCarter. Uh, that's who I am, and I'm also known as Donut Dave. You know, while I've been working on this uh, dog fooding episode, I kind of wished I could have an episode where I could show you a really awesome piece of software, uh, specifically their you know user interface or user experience. Unfortunately, I'm still on the hunt that gets for a piece of software that gets me really excited. Uh, so. I'm going to do dog fooding this time on a, a, a website called Expensify. A little background, I've been using Expensify for a number of years now. And until my recent experience, I've been okay with it. You know, I wouldn't jump up and down about, you know, being a great website, uh, but it worked. I didn't use it very much and uh, for what I needed, uh, it worked well. Expensify uh, is a website dedicated to allowing individuals or companies not only create, but then um, send uh, expense reports. But that's not the reason I started using Expensify uh, a while back. The reason I started using Expensify a while back was I was looking for a new way to track my receipts for my taxes. So at the end of the year, I can just print a report, give it to my tax guy, and uh, I'm done and I won't spend days and days uh, as I have previously because I, I have a, a lot of taxes and receipts to submit uh, because I do consulting. So like I said, until my recent experience, Expensify fulfilled it needs, its needs for me and it was free for me to use in this manner. But <laughs> uh, the reason I'm, I'm cutting it close to the final deadline to submit your taxes for 2019, I only have a couple of weeks uh, where I can actually finally submit my taxes. Um, I think the summer I started trying to get it done early for a change and early meaning early for me. I don't, I don't remember the last time I actually uh, submitted my taxes on time here in America. So, the summer when I went to use Expensify, it was, I was running into so many issues and I'm going to show a lot of those issues to you today. And, you know, in the past two or three weeks, I've been trying to go back in my brain. And even last year, I don't remember Expensify being this difficult to use. So I don't know what's happened in the last year with Expensify. Um, I don't know if they've gone through a big changeover. Uh, not only their development team, but maybe in other teams at Expensify. But I think you'll you'll understand my point by the end of this video uh, that I am floored that people actually pay to use this. Expensify makes their money uh, mostly off of uh, companies uh, allowing them to, to officially submit invoices and things like uh, I'm sorry officially submit uh, expenses. So anyway, um, and because of all these issues that have been introduced in the last year has delayed me getting up to the very wire of me getting in uh, my taxes this year before I get in trouble with the Internal Revenue Service. So let's go to the demo. So I've been recording this demo uh, using Camtasia uh, for two or three weeks now, every time I run into one of these issues I've been running into since the summer, then I bring up Camtasia really quick and uh, do a screen grab. Before I recorded this episode of Dog Fooding, I contacted Expensify multiple times. The first time, uh, they never gave a solution to my problem. And I've emailed them recently in the last couple of weeks multiple times with absolutely no response from Expensify. So, uh, not only is their software gone downhill, if you ask me, uh, but certainly their their tech support is almost non-existent at this point. Again, another reason why I don't know why people pay for this. This let's look at the first demo, and this is incorrect, uh, showing incorrect categories. So we've seen this demo. I'm putting in uh, actually an expense for a tailoring of uh, some the outfit that I use when I speak. Putting in the money amount. I unselect all that, and then I go to categories. 
Um, these are not the correct categories. And, um, and if I move off of it and go back, I actually find out that I had picked the wrong report. So when I do pick the re uh, correct report, let's look at the categories. But the problem with this one really is it won't save. I have to basically press save three times. So I really wanted to show in that is, is yes, the correct category came up and everything, but um, it won't save for some reason. And the, it won't save because I changed the report name. I have no idea why it won't save. I basically has, have to press save three times, get that error di dialog twice, and it will finally save it, not that it's telling you that it's saved and go back to the report. I, <laughs> I don't understand uh, uh, this at all. And, and you're gonna see that most of the issues in my demos actually revolve around categories and report names. Another feature that uh, Expensify has is allowing to uh, split your expenses uh, within uh, the same um, expense. Um, meaning, you know, if I have a hotel bill, I can put some of the expenses under under uh, uh, lodging and I can put the food under food, etc. Well, they've really messed this up too. Um, where in the past, uh, you could you could split your expenses and um, if you needed to make a modification, you just go back to the expense, uh, go back into the split and uh, make your changes. What they're doing now is if you split expenses, and let's say you split your expense um, under five different categories, it, it will then create five different um, separate expense entries, which really makes it difficult uh, to really make changes to that overall receipt. But in this part of the demo, I'm gonna show you that the categories aren't even correct when I try to split an expense. So here I'm putting in, uh, you see I have a couple things I wanna charge um, from an Amazon receipt. You can see the correct categories actually are showing up, but then when I go to split an expense and go under category, it's not showing me the correct categories. I don't even know what these, where these categories even come from because they're not part of anything I've set up. So at this point, I don't even know how to split this expense. I can't, <laughs> I, I can't put in different categories. So trying to split an expense now uh, with uh, Expensify is impossible. You can see on this dumbfounded look on my face. The next thing I wanna show, it uh, really isn't a bug, it's more of a usability thing. And that is this. If I wanna look at a receipt so I can see what items are, you know, on that receipt. So maybe I can, uh, you know, split it or something like that. I can't look at the receipt and I can't edit the expense at the same time. Even if I go into splitting and up at the top there, you see there's a view receipt. If I click on that, I can't then make my entries. So it would be really nice if I could look at the receipt and edit an expense at the same time. Um, one of the things I do when I'm trying to quickly go through my expenses to get ready for my tax accountant, something I typically do is I go into the expenses and I just keep clicking next or back uh, to go through the list of expenses to make it easier instead of you know, looking at it on the report and then clicking and bringing it up. It's just easier just to stay in this uh, screen you see here except when this happens. So here I'm rotating my expense. I like to do that. Um, just makes it easier for my tax guy or the IRS to look at uh, my receipts. Um, sometimes I typically crop them to crop things out that doesn't really add to the expense itself. And I change my report uh, to McCarter Consulting 2018. I try to navigate to the next screen and look, Everything is grayed out. Wait, there, I think there's some modal web dialogue going on somewhere, um, but I don't know where it is. I don't know how to get rid of it. It does this, which you can't click anywhere. You can't do anything now on the expense. Um, the only way to get out of um, this part of the screen is uh, clicking escape 
and then I can get out of it and go on with my editing. Another thing I do when I'm getting ready to do my taxes is I go to my list of expenses um, in, in the menu item where it just says expenses. And, you know, I, I look at an expense and then, you know, I assign a report to it. Uh, but that doesn't work. And I'm going to show you that in um, this example here. So here you can see I've uh, assigned my report to McCarter Consulting 2018. I'm looking at uh, where this expense came from. And now if I press save and go to my report, which is McCarter Consulting 2018, and look for that expense, which should come under um, with no category, it's not in the report. So even though I selected the report, the expense doesn't show up. This drove me crazy until I figured the workaround. And I'm going to show you the workaround. So here's the expense. And the workaround I found is you have to put in a merchant. Even though it allows you to save it without a merchant, it won't show up in the expense report without a merchant, which to me, being a user of this crappy software, is if I select a report, it should show up in that report. There shouldn't be any other um, requirements to show up in a report other than I selected the report. So in this demo, there's another splitting expense issue. You can see here, I'm going up and for some reason it is showing me the correct uh, uh, categories for some reason. I put in an amount. I go to my next uh, part of the uh, uh, split. I pick lodging and I put in my money amount for lodging. Uh, this is when I spoke in Philadelphia last year. And press save, can't press save. Nope, can't press save. Stop trying, doesn't work. <laughs> so, so even though I selected my categories, I put in the amounts, I can't save the split. <sighs> oh man, so frustrating. In this demo, you're gonna see here, I'm trying to look where this receipt is from and you can kind of quickly see it in the video but I can't see it because a stupid black thing was above the receipt and I couldn't get rid of it. I clicked all over the place, just could not get rid of it. Um, so I don't know what that's all about, but definitely there's some major issues with uh, their, web, their web programming. And this next demo uh, is another, is a pet peeve of mine with other software too. Expensify is really bad at this. So here I'm trying to uh, put in one of my expenses. I put in the receipt. I mean, I'm sorry. I put in the merchant, which is a pharmacy. I go in and see it. Since I'm trying to do last year, I put in the year. I put in the, uh, uh, the month. And then I put in the day, I think. Yeah, that's the day, right? Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> and now I can't even change it. It's red. I can't change it. Oh. There it popped up. So until I go and click on it and it puts that missing zero in the date box, um, does it work correctly? But you can still see it's still red, which I don't know why. But my big thing with this is, you know, user experience developers, I should be able to put a date format in any way I want that abides to my um, uh, region, right? So in America, we put in dates differently um, than most the rest of the world. And this is not the way we put in dates in, in America. So I don't know what this is about, um, but we do it differently. But there's different ways. And I should be able to put a, a date in that uh, goes along with any American format um, and Expensify should just accept that and change it to whatever format it wants, right? I mean, I mean in .NET at least, it's one line of code, right? I don't know what it is with uh, 
whatever Expensify uses, but .dot .net is one line of code to do that. So this isn't that hard. And again, you can see the the, the it's that you know that end well the, the total I haven't put anything in yet is still red. Why is it still red when it's a proper date? I don't know. Well, those are all the demos I have for you. Sorry, I kept laughing through this, but you know, you know, working on these demos, it made me think a lot about how software engine software doesn't seem to get better. You know, it it seems like we don't learn, you know, from past mistakes. We just keep making them over and over again. And um, not only do they not seem to get better, a lot of software seems to get worse. You know, one thing Expensify has done, uh, which really upsets me being a user, is when Expensify first came out, uh, one of the fe there are other features, but the only feature I want to talk about is uh, whenever you would put in a receipt, Expensify would then, um, you know, look at the receipt and try to figure out the merchant and the price and the date and all that. Well, it worked that way for years um, and without paying for it. Well, it's one of those features that all of a sudden they go, oh, we want to make people pay for this. Uh, which really upsets me being a, a user because, you know, why do you start making me pay for something that previously was free? You know, you shouldn't have made that feature unless you always wanted people to pay for it. So using me as your, uh, <laughs> as your quality assurance person for a couple of years doesn't make it in my book. And so to wrap things up, I don't know what's happened to Expensify. I don't know what's happened to their software. I don't know what's happened to their team there. Uh, but uh, if you've been looking at software to uh, uh, use to keep your uh, receipts for taxes as I do, or for expenses, uh, please don't use Expensify. It's not worth it. And I don't even pay for it and it's not worth it. It's not worth the headache. I, you know, at the end of this year, I am changing to something else. So. If anybody else uses something out there that they really love, um, uh, please uh, send me a note and uh, I'll try it out. I don't need it to hook up to bank accounts. I just wanted to do receipts and make it easy for me to edit those receipts for my accountant at the end of uh, the years to submit for my taxes. So there you have it. I hope you'll uh, join me for the next episode of Dog Fooding with David McCarter.